Okay, everybody, welcome to another review here. Um, I'm going to retest uh, Node 32 because I guess I was told that there's a new version out there. Now, if you go to the US site to download a trial, you'll get the 0.314 version. Um, but if you go to the European Union website, you'll actually get the 4.0.437, I think, version, which is their newest version. I don't know why they don't give the people in the US the newest version, but what can you do? So now I'm going to install the version again, and we'll do a typical, and I'll be right back after I enter our username and password. See you in a second. Okay, and we're going to enable ThreatSense. Um, we're going to leave everything just the way it is, and we're going to say uh, enable detection for potentially unwanted programs, and let's install it here. And while this is installing, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Um, what happened is it finished installing here and um, I checked for updates. Basically that's the only thing. As you can see it's brand new and updated. Um, if we go to about, you'll see that this version is .467. Sorry if I said something 3.7 or something, I don't know. This is the newest version I guess right now. So. Um, Let's uh, get started here on doing some reviews. I didn't mess with any of the settings. They're just like they are when they come from the factory. So um, these are the same links that I used in my McAfee review. And if you want to see how McAfee did with that, um, when I get that posted up and uh, ready to go, uh, you can check that out. Okay, so it blocked, uh, blocked the site from being able to be accessed. That's good. It's a lot of stuff that it's blocking right there. I guess it's just blocking it constantly. So we'll just let that run in the background. Move on to the second one here. And it looks like this one might not work. That one's not working. Or it might have been blocked too. Okay, that one ran. Don't see anything. Set other than uh, address has been blocked stuff and it's the same address over and over and over again. I have a feeling there's probably something in memory running that. Okay, I'll we'll keep going here. Looks like that one might have crashed the Internet Explorer. That web address just keeps getting blocked over and over and over again. And the hard drive is going wacky now. Internet Explorer crashed. Okay, we won't send that. Let's open it up again. see anything happening on that one. Still don't see anything happening on that one. Looks 
looks like that one went through. Okay, that one I think I blocked. I think. This is another one of those fake scanner. Oh, jeez, I haven't seen one of these yet. Fix now. Let's run it. Let's see what happens. last one here. Secure warrior again. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect from the net because this thing's just constantly being bombarded here should shut it up and I am going to do a custom scan and I'm going to scan in depth the local hard drive and the memory let's scan it here and I will pause the video while this is scanning and I will be back when the scans done see you in a second okay so the complete scan just finished it took seven minutes seven seconds um, I didn't find anything all it has is that it couldn't open the page file what did happen though is um, while it was scanning it actually restarts the computer just restarted for some odd reason the virtual machine by that I mean it restarted and I had to restart the scan so what I'm gonna do now in the last couple minutes that we have is I downloaded Malwarebytes I'm gonna install it update it and do a quick scan and then we will uh, see if it missed anything and I'll bring you guys back on board when the quick scans done see you in a second Okay, so the Malwarebytes scan just finished. It said it found 22 things. Let's check it out, see what we got here. We got a Vondu here. Uh, let's see, we got uh, services.exe, a bot. We got some uh, stuff in uh, some registry keys for a backdoor bot. We got some temp files, that's fine. Got some other files here, stolen data, some registry keys, a fake alert, and some uh, registry key changes here. So definitely some stuff uh, did sneak by, but uh, did all right. It could have done better, definitely. So I'd give uh, this version of uh, Node 32 about the same 7 to 8 out of 10 like I did on the other one um, I didn't notice much of a difference um, but these again were new malware samples so I'm sure there's some difference but nothing that I uh, I saw so uh, that's it for this review on uh, note 32 4.0.467 I think it was something like that and um, yep 467 and I'll let you guys know I'll I'll let you guys go. I'll uh, upload this to YouTube, and I'll talk to you guys later.